Man, I've got a problem. You do? What's your problem? Um, well, I don't know what pronoun to use when I'm talking about different subjects and like how to choose the right verb conjugation ending. For example, if I'm talking about Beto, then I know that the pronoun I would use is El, and that's easy. Or if I were talking about Mayra, then I know that the pronoun I would use is Ella, no problem. And if I were talking about Beto y Mayra, I know that I'd use Ellos. But when things get really confusing, like what if I'm talking about Beto y yo? I mean, hmm. I don't know, what, to you, what pronoun do I use there? Or Mayra y tu, I'm not so sure. And when we start talking about Beto y tu y yo, then you know, I have no idea how to conjugate those or what pronoun to use. And Anyways, and don't even get me started when we get big crazy groups like Mayra y tu y yo y ustedes. I mean, sheesh, that's just crazy talk. Sure, I can help you out. That's an easy fix. I'll tell you what you do. You just figure it out in English first. That's right. Figure it out in English first. Then take it back to Spanish and you can figure out any pronoun no matter who you're talking about. It's easy. I'll show you. All right. The first thing is to take it back to English. Let's say you got a group like Beto y yo. Well, take that to English and you got Beto and I. All right, now that you got it in English, figure out what pronoun you would use in English to talk about that group, Beto and I. Well, let's see. Say I've got a sentence, Beto and I eat squid. Well, what pronoun would I use to talk about Beto and I? Beto and I eat squid. Blank, eat squid. What pronoun would go there? Uh, let's see, Beto and I. How about we eat squid? There you go piece of cake. Now remember that if any group has I in it, that group will be nosotros every time, no matter what. All right, now that you got the pronoun we, switch that pronoun back to Spanish. We would be nosotros. And that means that anytime you're conjugating a verb in a sentence where the subject is Beto y yo, you're going to use the nosotros form. All right, let's try another one. Let's say you got Mayra y tú. Well, let's take it back to English. Mayra y tú, that would be... That's right, Mayra and you. All right, now that you got it in English, what pronoun would you use in English to talk about Mayra and you? Let's put it in a sentence. Mayra and you eat squid. Let's see. Um, now that's right, you guys eat squid. Or if you're in the South, you might say, y'all eat squid. Okay. And just remember, any group that has you in it will be a you guys, and you'll use ustedes. All right, now that you got that pronoun in English, switch it back to Spanish. You guys in Spanish would be ustedes. That means that any time you got a sentence where Mayra y tú are doing the verb, you're gonna use the ustedes form of the of the conjugated verb. Don't you love squid? They're so tranquil and delicious. All right, let's do another one. Let's get crazy. Beto y tú y yo. Well, let's take it back to English. Beto y tú y yo. Hmm. That would be Beto and you and I. That's right. Now that I got it in English, let's figure out what pronoun we would use in English for Beto and you and I. Let's see, Beto and you and I eat squid, blank, eat squid. Hmm, let's see. Well, how about we eat squid? That's right. And just remember, if you got a group with you and I in it, then that group will be nosotros every time. In other words, the I is more important than the you. I am more important than you. Uh -huh. But yeah, just remember, if a group has I in it, even if it's got unit to, you'll still use we, nosotros. All right, we in Spanish would be nosotros. Therefore, if you got a group, Beto y tú y yo, doing a verb, you're going to conjugate the verb with the nosotros form. 
All right, now let's really go for it here. Mayra, y tú, y yo, y ustedes. Let's take it back to English. Mayra, y tú, y yo, y ustedes would be Mayra, and you, and I, and you guys. All right. Let's put that group in a sentence and decide what pronoun we would use. Let's see. Mayra, and you, and I, and you guys eat squid. What is it? That's right, we eat squid. Now take it back to Spanish. We in Spanish is nosotros. Therefore, if I got a sentence with Mayra and you and I and you guys all doing the verb, then I'm gonna conjugate that verb in the nosotros form. That's it, that's all there is to it, you got it. Squid rain. Adios. Adios. Rawr.